<sighs> Throughout my time on YouTube, I have done a lot of really, really stupid things. This, this might be my stupidest. I would recommend that absolutely no one try this. This is probably a terrible use of a DJI Spark. If you want to break your drone, try this. If you want to keep your drone, don't try and fly it through a window outside. Very, very, very bold predictions today. Prediction number one, Zaza Pachulia gets suspended five games by the NBA. If you guys didn't know, he was just being a little dirty guy again. Tried to jump on Russell Westbrook's leg. He's done it to Kawhi. He's done it to his own teammate Durant. He's done it to David West. Zaza is a dirty player. Five game suspension. Just watch, the NBA is gonna clamp down. Second bold prediction. This one is much bolder. Today is the first day of spring and the last day of winter. Here's my thinking on this one. It is negative three degrees Celsius today, which by my calculations is pretty freaking nice out for February. Tomorrow it's supposed to be even warmer. The next day it's supposed to be even warmer. And then I go to New York for a week where it is way warmer. And I'm thinking by the time I come back from New York, it's gonna be March 8th and it's supposed to be pretty nice outside by the time we get to the middle of March. So I think I've made it through the winter. Oh my goodness, if we have no more cold days this year and I don't have to experience any more painful freezing cold where I don't even wanna go outside, that is going to be amazing. I'm just in such a better mood. It's nice outside, I feel invigorated, I feel happy. I feel like I just wanna get out and do stuff. I wanna make the videos better, I wanna put more time into them. No more half-assing videos because it's freezing out and I don't wanna leave the house. It is time to get back on it. I am feeling good, guys. I am feeling really, really good. We are downtown right now. I wanted to take a quick stop by Livestock to say what's up to the guys there and check out what sneakers they have. I didn't win the raffle for the bread toes of Livestock, which really sucked. I was pretty sad about that. I really wanted to win the raffle at Livestock for the bread toes, but it didn't happen. That release was insane. I don't know how no one got them, but apparently no one got them, except for like some people that told me they got six pairs just to rub it in my face. I'm happy for you that you got six pairs, but at the same time, I'm very, very jealous. That cab thinks I'm crazy. Because guys, we are in livestock. They actually got a couple awesome things sitting here. Uh, some of the neighborhood collab. Obviously, the NMD sold out. That's what everyone wanted. But there's these Adidas Chop Shop, I've been informed, is what they're called. And it's like an NMD bottom with sort of a superstar top, except the toe isn't the same as the superstar. But the rest looks like... I'm not really sure what these are, except I sort of like them. The nice little neighborhood teeth back there. And then the neighborhood Adidas Superstar Prime Knit. These, these turned out pretty good. I honestly didn't know these were Prime Knit when I saw the pictures online, but these look very, very nice actually. I'm a big fan of these. Um, probably not gonna pick these up. This is something I really wouldn't wear, but just how it looks. I dig these. More importantly though, oh my goodness, look what they still have sitting here. The Adidas EQT 9317. I forget what these are called, except it has a Japanese name and I completely forget. Uh, it's It has a Japanese name, it starts with a Y-A but I forget past that. These things are crazy. So the boost actually isn't white, which is something I didn't know. It's like an off blue, like an ice blue. Crazy translucent red bottom. Red stripes up there. Crazy gray toe box. Black suede on the other side. These are really, 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 really nice. And they're just sitting here. I might actually see if they have a size 12 of these. I might see if they have a size 12. I probably shouldn't be buying anything, but these look very nice. On a more simple vibe, they have the Flyknit Trainers, triple blacks. I think these came out today, actually. Very nice, just triple black Flyknit Trainers. We all know about these, we've all seen them. Most of us have probably tried these on before, but these do look really fresh, just all black everything. Nice little everyday shoe if you're looking for something like that. Me, they're a little bit too narrow for my foot, so I try and stay away from them. But, but it's, it's a nice shoe, like I, I dig this shoe. Nice little 3M hit on the back, which is pretty much the only contrast on these. They're pretty nice.
you guys know the deal with Foot Locker and what happened a few weeks ago, about a month ago actually, maybe even two months ago by now. Uh, the, the, the new Foot Locker manager at the Foot Locker I go to a lot was like, I don't know, saying, saying some stuff. And then I was like, you know what, I don't want to shop here anymore because you're, you're not treating me nicely. And then I decided to not shop there anymore. And basically the fallout from that was one of the employees at that Foot Locker got mad at me on a local Facebook group and that was sort of strange. But then it's been all good since then and I actually haven't missed it that much. But today there was a pair of shoes I actually really wanted to pick up. So I did end up going back into Foot Locker they did let me back in. They did let me purchase something. It was a little bit of a weird experience, um, and I, I ended up buying a nice pair of shoes. Let's take a look at that nice pair of shoes. And here it is, the pair of shoes we got today. It is the brand new Kyrie Irving 4. Now, obviously the first thing we need to talk about here is that Kyrie Irving got traded to the Celtics in the offseason. And I was originally really upset about that because I wasn't really a Kyrie Irving fan. I didn't think he had what Boston wanted. I didn't think he was gonna play defense. I didn't think he was gonna be a team player. And he has just continued to prove me wrong over and over and over and over. I never thought I would say this, but I'm becoming a little bit of a Kyrie Irving fan. So I decided, you know what? Let's pick up a pair of Kyrie fours. I have the Kyrie one dreams, the first Kyrie sneaker that ever came out. These ones right here, uh, they're, they're pretty nice. That's the only pair of Kyries I've ever bought until today. That's the only pair of Kyries I've ever owned until today. And today we got something also very, very nice. These are the Kyrie 4 Boston Celtics alternate jersey, and I absolutely love these. All right, backstory on these. These are supposed to match the alternate jersey of the Boston Celtics this year. It's gray with green piping around the letters, little hits of gold. It matches perfectly with the jerseys. It also has one of the coolest details I've seen on a pair of basketball shoes this year, the parquet wood floors of the TD Garden all over this back panel here. If it hits the light right, you can see the wood grain texture that they put on this pair of shoes right there, which I think is a crazy little touch. I really, really like that. It's just a nice little shout to where the Celtics play and what the Celtics do, which is win. You have some suede on the toe, which is awesome. I really like that touch. The gold Kyrie logo, which looks amazing. And then something that I really didn't expect on this pair of shoes is you flip them over to the bottom and bam, you have that big red zigzag, which is sort of cool. It makes it look like a bit of a watermelon on the bottom. Kyrie Irving has worn these shoes. Uh, he's worn them in a few games. They look really, really nice with his jersey. And me being a massive Celtics fan, I don't have any Celtics basketball sneakers. I have some shoes that are maybe Celtics colorways, like I have the Celtics Jordan 1s, I have some green and white Converse Fast Breaks, so when I do want to feel very Celtics-y and show my Boston pride and whatnot, I can throw those on. But I didn't have anything I could play basketball in that was really a Celtics color, so this is what sparked me to pick these ones up. You guys know I love playing basketball and I love the Celtics. I just love basketball in general. In fact, besides YouTube, basketball is my favorite thing on earth and that's honestly all I do with my time. I coach, play basketball, and do YouTube. That's really all of my hobbies and all of my jobs. Like I don't do anything else with my time. It's basketball and YouTube and I love this shoe because it encompasses a whole bunch of awesome stuff. It's my favorite team. It's the best player for my favorite team. I'm able to play basketball in it and I'm able to make a video about it too, which I really, really like. So some things you probably want to know about the Kyrie 4 is what is it made out of? Now this back panel switches a lot between different shoes. Sometimes it's suede, sometimes it's synthetic leather. On this one, it's just a plastic vinyl material, which is going to not really stretch that much. So it's going to be good for lockdown and it's a pretty lightweight material as well. On the toe box, you have a mesh on this colorway, which is going to be very lightweight, very flexible, very breathable. With that, a nice little bit of synthetic suede just to sort of protect the materials on the high wear areas. You have a mesh tongue, you have the Kobe logo or Kyrie logo, pardon me, back there, and then you have a nice little hit of synthetic leather on the back with, of course, your rubber outsole. That's pretty much all you need to know about the materials of this shoe. Performance wise, I am not an expert on that, except what I really like about the Kyrie series much like the Kobe series, is that they all sort of look very similar. Like I can pick this up compared to the Kyrie one, compared to the Ky Kyrie three, and you, you know it's a Kyrie Irving sneaker. They all look very similar in terms of silhouette, and they all perform very similar, which is something I really appreciate out of a sneaker. I know what I'm gonna get when I'm buying a Kyrie sneaker, and I really enjoyed the Kyrie ones, so I figured it was time now that he's on my favorite team 
to pick up a pair of Kyrie 4s. What do you guys think about these though? Are they good? Are they bad? Are they lame? I know one thing that is not lame and it is this box. This box is crazy. I really like the design on the box. I think it looks very, very nice. The retail price, I believe, is $130 US. It's $165 Canadian. I think that's a pretty fair price. I mean, it is one of the marquee signature shoes, and it's under $150, which is always great. I remember back in the day when Kobe started to be $160, $170. That was getting a little bit ridiculous. For what it is, I think it's a good value. You're going to get a good basketball shoe. You're going to get a player's name attached to it. You even get an NBA team's colorway on this pair of sneakers. So I was very happy to pay the price. I was very happy to get this pair of sneakers and I'm honestly a little bit surprised I was allowed back in Foot Locker to buy a pair of shoes. Um, that was quite the, quite the interesting experience. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time.